The Buffalo Bills added to their thin tight end room by adding Jacob Hollister, formerly of the Seattle Seahawks. A move that reunites him with his old teammate at Wyoming, Josh Allen, where both were captains and stars just a few years ago. Couldn't be happier for him. I love this guy right here. I love all my teammates and you know, it just it, it was our day today. The transaction isn't going to move the needle much, but the Bills hope to capture some of the magic the two had in college. Hollister is likely a depth piece for the Bills, but some of his traits will be utilized in Brian Dable's offense. But he is not a starter by any means. He's a player that somehow manages to become a reliable target for his quarterback and garner more reps as seasons go on. He's the type of player that will likely challenge Knox on and off the field, something that the Bills hope will unlock his potential. Hollister brings some slightly different traits to the Bills offense, and the first one that stands out is his quickness. You'll see his quickness flash in several different forms. First of all, in his route running, he has a jitterbug running style where his short, choppy steps allow him to get in and out of breaks quickly. That quickness can help an offensive coordinator in several ways, such as when the coordinator wants to out-leverage a defender or a coverage, Hollister has the quicks to gain leverage immediately. Against zone coverage, the Seahawks had him run under routes in their play-action game. Wilson fakes the outside zone run to the right, then dumps it down to Hollister, who is able to get horizontal leverage on the 49ers defender, who is processing run to pass. I would love for the Bills to add more of these types of passes. Here's another play where the Seahawks use the formation and concept to out-leverage the coverage. The Hawks are running a stick concept, with the number one wide receiver running a stick route and Hollister running a diagonal route to the flats. Wilson is key in the outside linebacker. If the backer jumps Hollister, the stick route will be open. But if the backer holds with the stick route, Hollister has leverage on the corner who is playing off in soft coverage. The backer hesitates, so Wilson fires it out to Hollister for a good gain. So his quickness can out-leverage defenders in zone coverage, but his explosiveness can also catch defenders off guard in man coverage, allowing him to separate quickly or to at least maintain separation throughout the route. Seahawks head coach Pete Carroll said Hollister is quick as a cat, comes in with great professionalism, great vision, he gets open, he knows how to separate, he's got great speed. That quickness and vision is evident when he's working his way through the defense. He can avoid any potential disruption to his route with sudden movements. And he will use those sudden changes in speed or direction to help separate, as Coach Carroll stated, like this catch against the Bills. Hollister releases outside in order to gain leverage of the middle of the field on safety Dean Marlowe. Then his quickness takes over as he breaks inside. Quick separation to the middle, the largest portion of the field. And I believe that is the main reason why the Bills signed Hollister. In 2020, defenses shifted into two high safety zone structures once it gave the Bills issues in week five against the Titans. The Bills found ways to defeat it to an extent. They want to have more in their arsenal in 2021. And Hollister, much like tight end Zach Ertz would have, wins in the short middle portion of the field underneath. And it's an area where Allen and Hollister connected a lot in back at Wyoming. That's what happens when you play a lot of zone on defense. And, you know, they just kind of gave us the opportunities. And, you know, Jake's one of the hardest working guys on the team. He's a captain. He, he, no one deserves this more than him. He's a playmaker and he busts his, he busts his butt every day. On short passes to the middle of the field, the Bills were near the bottom of the league in terms of how much they attacked that area. Throws between the numbers and less than 10 yards deep made up only 28% of their attempts, which ranks 26th in the NFL. When the Bills did throw to the short middle, it was Beasley and Diggs who got most of the looks. Knox only saw 11 targets here with just 6 receptions. This is an area of the field where a tight end can do a lot of damage. It just hasn't been the case for Knox so far in his career. Since 2019, only 28% of his targets came in the short middle. That's dead last among all tight ends with at least 90 targets. Hollister's skill set may be more suitable to attack this area. In his last two years in Seattle, 42% of the passes thrown to him were in this range, which is eighth in the NFL. Hollister could take some of the pressure off of Josh Allen by giving him options in the middle of the field, whether it is out of single or multiple tight end sets. He quickly shows his numbers to the QB on curl and stick routes in the middle of the field. This becomes even more important when defenses look to send an extra rusher on blitzes. Usually, tight ends are one of the first hot route or sight adjustments for a quarterback. Having a tight end who recognizes blitzes and becomes available for their QB will only help the Bills beat pressure and extend drives. On this play against the Bills, Hollister's running a stick route as the home team sends a five-man pressure. Four rushers come from the offense's left, with the field defensive end, Trent Murphy, dropping into the underneath area. Hollister snaps his head around, then slides away from Murphy to give Wilson an easy throw. 
On another play, the Bills make it look like pressure is coming, but run a Tampa 2 creeper pressure with defensive end Jerry Hughes dropping into the boundary hook to curl area. As soon as Hollister clears AJ Klein and Hughes, he gets his eyes on a QB and Wilson quickly hits him for another solid gain. He routinely becomes QB friendly, but there were times where Hollister also struggled with the most important area of being a pass catcher, and that is simply catching the ball. It hadn't been an issue prior to 2020, but as my buddy Sam Gold explains, it was a major issue this past season. For Jacob Hollister, the thing you like about him is that he's a quick and athletic tight end that can make plays underneath. You place him in the slot and he can attack zones using his quickness on things like slants and drags. He also has the speed to win one-on-one -on -one up teams as well. Last season, he did have a big problem with drops. We do hope that's a fluke, but it did get pretty bad as he just became unreliable. For example, his game against the Rams in the playoffs was one of his worst all season. Hollister had two drops in the wildcard game that Sam is referencing. He registered a 13.8% drop percentage per pro football focus in 2020, which will make Bills fans cringe when they look at it because it was higher than Knox's 11.1% drop rate. But in 2019, when Knox led all tight ends in drop rate at 24.3%, Hollister registered a 2.4% drop rate. So Bills fans hope that 2020 doesn't represent Hollister's true abilities. Like I said, the move to bring Hollister in doesn't move the needle much. Sure, it reunites him with Allen and Tanner Gentry, but it won't change the offense or the Bills' plan at the position. Hollister is a solid role player at the position, a player who can get some quick, easy wins in the middle of the field, whether defenses play zone or man coverage. Overall though, he's a decent third tight end on pretty much any roster. I'm not going to rely on him to make the big play or the need first down conversion, but catching the occasional slant or drag and he can still be pretty effective. We should expect general manager Brandon Bean to possibly add another player to the room via free agency or the draft. It's a position that barely existed in the offense in 2019, and while they would like to add talent to the position, what they need is for Knox to take a step forward. Because if he doesn't soon, guys like Hollister, Tommy Sweeney, Reggie Gilliam, a street free agent or draft pick will take snaps from the athletic tight end.